I'm Sergeant Strange and this is Mike 10. Treat a fracture and a burn. Task, perform first aid for a fracture and a burn. Condition, you're a member of a team on a combat patrol. You witness an improvised explosive device, throw several teammates to the ground. You are assisting medics with triage and treatment. You're behind cover, not under hostile fire, and your teammates have established security perimeter. The medic performed a rapid trauma assessment on the first patient and determined that there are no other immediate life-threatening injuries. The medic directed you to treat the casualty greater state's extremity, close fracture and burn to greater state's location to the burn injury. You have a combat lifesaver's bag, are not in sea burn environment, and the conscious casualty is sitting up. Standard, perform all tasks to standard in sequence within five minutes without causing further injury. Step one, reassure casualty and explain the process of treating the fracture. Loosen tight and binding clothing and remove jewelry from limb, placing in casualty's pocket. Step two, check for signs of circulation's problem below injury, greater prompts. Check light-skinned persons for skin color, pale white or bluish gray. Check dark-skinned persons by depressing toenail or fingernail beds and seeing how fast the color returns. A slow return of color to the injury side indicates a circu circulation problem. Feel injured arm or leg to see if it is colder than the uninjured one. Ask about presence of numbness, tightness, or cold sensation. Step three, splint, improvised, or SAM splint. SAM splints do not require padding, no femur fractures. Improvised splints are made from two rigid objects. Use improvised materials such as the rigid objects keep fractured and mobilized. Use improvised materials to pad the splints. If splinting materials are not available, use the chest wall to immobilize a suspected fracture of the arm and the uninjured leg to immobilize the fractured leg. As a rule, splint fracture in position found. If no circulation below fracture site or limb is grossly angulated, you cannot effectively splint it. You may need to gently realign it, greater prompts. With one hand supporting fracture site, use other to grasp part of the limb farthest from the fracture and gently pull. Ensure ends of splints do not press against groin. Pressure could interfere with blood circulation. Place one splint on each side of arm and leg and pad appropriately. Make sure splints reach appropriate joints below and above fracture. A single SAM splint may be used for s small fractures such as wrist. Tie non-slip knots on splint with improvised or actual cravats. Do not tie cravats directly over the fracture. Gently place at least two cravats above and two cravats below the fracture if possible. Check splint for tightness. Make sure cravats are tight enough to hold splinting material securely in place. Recheck circulation below injury to make sure the circulation has not been paired. Making adjustments to improve circulation without allowing splint to become ineffective. Step four, sling actual or improvised. Make improvised sling from non-stretching material. Ensure supporting pressure is on injured side and hand of supported arm is slightly higher than elbow. Recheck circulation below the injure, injury to make sure that the circulation is not impaired. Make any adjustments to improve circulation without allowing the sling to become ineffective. Step five, swathe. Apply where there is splinted fracture of elbow, leg, or when fracture cannot be splinted. Place swaths above and or below the fracture, not over it. Apply swaths to arm by wrapping over injured arm, around casualties back, and under arm or uninjured side. Tie ends on uninjured side. Apply swaths to injured leg by wrapping swaths around both legs and tying uninjured side. Recheck circulation by the injury to make sure the circulation is not impaired. Make any adjustments to improve circulation without allowing the swath to become ineffective. Treat burn. Cut casualties clothing away from burns to remove potentially constructing items such as rings and bracelets. Apply a dry sterile dressing securely but not overly tight. Cover extensive burns with a sterile sheet slash linen.